Okay, we have the uh, Lab Star, remember on his Lab Star, glove box. Here's your controller down here. You see, uh, we only have the uh, oxygen sensor available on it, so we have that turned on. The H2 uh, oh, sensor is off right now. Pressure set here. And we got uh, less than uh, 0 0.5 ppm of uh, oxygen in it. The media inside the purifier has been changed and regenerated. To so regen, you would use the F2 key here. Circulator on and off. This is for your vacuum pump. And this is for your light. You can step through here and uh, do various functions. This is explained in a manual you'll receive. So we'll have the limit set now to one as the lower and three millibar as the upper. Sensor alarms, hysteresis, and a pressure alarm limits. And then you can auto sort your circulation after regeneration if you like. That's just to show you a few of the options that are available here. All right, now using a foot switch here, you got a high pressure. You can increase the pressure inside the box, or you can decrease it. What I'll do is I'll set my limits. I'll increase this to 11. Enter. And I'll decrease this to a negative 11. Let's see, I can pull in a glove by hitting the low pressure. The pressure is being right out down here. So. Okay, we're at uh, almost uh, minus 8.6, and you can see that the oxygen level is still staying low. Gloves are pulled in. And I can increase the pressure. Okay, now we're at positive uh, 8.6. Again, you see the oxygen level is low. Well, just a few other things here. We have our vacuum pump attached and running. It's our anti-chamber. This is manually done, so if you want to evacuate the anti-chamber, watch the pressure uh, vacuum gauge here. You see it's going down. The back fill that you would open up. You bring your gas from inside the roll box and put it in the can. Well, you have a port up here. Just to, uh, when you want to do a box purge, you can open that up. Uh, you main power switches right here on the 
stop as we walk around the back. Here's another thing to explain. Here's our pressure sensor for the pressure inside the box. Your purifier's in here with the blower. So the, uh, the direction is through, out through here. And, oh, here's your oxygen sensor. Pass the oxygen sensor back in through your purifier out back into the box. The, the arrow here shows you the direction of the nitrogen flow. You'll need a, a roughly 80 psi of uh, nitrogen. I have that hooked up with using this bottle of nitrogen here. That's your upper line here. Your lower line is for your regeneration gas. If you have a, a forming gas, you can hook that up when you do a regen. This is your outlet for your 110 outlet inside the box. So we have a filter on the uh, the gas coming into the box here, the particle filter, and this great cylinder here, there's carbon inside that, so you do have a carbon filter. Any solvents that are inside the box will be absorbed by the carbon before it goes into the purifier and, and blower. We'll provide one uh, port here to uh, just assist in changing a glove if you need to change a glove. What I'll do is I'll transfer the same to show you how to transfer our work into the glove box. Take a look inside here. There's a shelf provided. Let's close this up. Again, this is a manual evacuate backfill. I just recommend that you do three complete cycles. So what I'll do first is I'll evacuate. So we're removing the air from inside the anti-chamber right now. Speed this up a little bit, uh, and then at that point you would close the vacuum off. Now we're back filling the anti chamber with the pure nitrogen that's inside the glove box. So you'll need to do this three times, as recommended, to pure to clean out your anti chamber here, so that when you open the inside door, you don't introduce a lot of oxygen and water vapor inside the glove box. Okay, we're on our last cycle here. We evacuate it, and what I'll do is I'll backfill it. This has to be an atmospheric pressure in order to open the inside door. So I'll close this valve, and we'll look from the inside here and you'll see the inner door open. Slide the shelf in. I'll just close this up for now. If you take a look down here, you'll see that uh, we've got a slight increase in the oxygen just from that transfer. We'll come back in a little while and we'll see that it's been brought down by the purifier. Alright, in order to transfer your work back out, just open it up again.
I didn't expose this to the uh, environment or the air, so I can just open it again. I'll close this up. It's only been about a minute and now we're back down to uh, less than 0 0.5 ppm on the oxygen. So the, uh, like I said, the media has been replaced and regenerated inside here. So it'll be good to go with that. <laughs> 